Hey everybody, so today I'm working on a filter for um, my company I work for. Uh, it's a calcite filter, it takes care of low pH and a little bit of iron. Um, it doesn't take care of it all, uh, but I'm going to show you how to service it if you got one. Um, it's not too hard. Um, Alright, so some are non-mechanical heads, so it's kind of an upflow system. You got to shut valves off and all that stuff. Uh, this isn't one of those. Um, when I have one of those, uh, I'll show you guys how to do that one. Um, I believe I have one that's coming up here in the next month or so that's supposed to be serviced for that. So uh, yeah, when I do that one, I'll show you guys too. Uh, so first thing you do with these is So here's the system. Purifies the water, cleans it up a little bit. So it comes in through the back. You got the inlet and the outlet. This is the bypass valve. <clears throat> this is the backwash tube. So when you go to service this, right now it's pressurized. It's got uh, 60 PSI on it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the filter head here, you know, this knob. You're gonna turn it to backwash. And now it's backwashing out of that tube. So after you get it there, this piston's a little sticky. And then when you get it going like that, you come back here, turn this thing to the to the left, across the pipes, just like that. Go back up front. Uh, most of the time these don't stick, but this one does. So now there's no more pressure. Now you got that on, everything's in bypass, there's no more pressure. You're gonna unplug it from the wall. And you go over to this dome hole plug here. You're gonna loosen it. So these filter heads, uh, the 10 by 54 and 13 by 54, they all should be 18 inches from the top. So we're going to measure this one. So there's 18. It's going to keep going down. 25, from 18 to 25 is one bag of calcite. That's a bag and a half. So now I'm going to pull it out. And we're going to go get a hose. So we can siphon it out. set you guys up over here so there's two different ways to siphon um, you can pressurize the hose if you have a shut off valve on the end like this one you can pressurize it shut it down turn the water off kink the line that you have on the hose bib undo it and shove it down inside of there um, that's one way to do it, and then you open the valve and it'll drain by itself. 
where I'm at, there's no hose bit. Well, not close enough anyways. I'm not going to go, you know, walk five minutes away to put a hose bib, you know, put some water in the hose. So, I'll just siphon it by my mouth. What it is is limestone. Um, here's the front of the bag. You guys can read it. pH neutralization of acidic acidic water particulate filtration. Mineral enriched of low DDS water. Calcium enhancement of drinking water. called pure pure the ingredient is 100 percent white limestone marble which is calcite so what you do is you just wait for it to drain and then when it's done doing that uh, you take a funnel you buy these at the hardware store um, most of them will have a screen in the bottom and you cut it out uh, I have a bungee cord around mine, so I don't have to sit there and try to hold it. Uh, you learn little tricks as you go. You know, I've been doing this for a while, so. Uh, yeah, you pretty much just wait for it to drain. Hope you guys had a good Easter. Uh, other things to check when you're in, you know, doing any kind of service on these, um, Make sure the you know when you're turning the gear up here, make sure it's, make sure it's not sticking. This one sticks a little bit, but I just replaced the piston uh, last year, so they got some pretty bad water here. So it takes, you know, probably about three, four minutes for it to drain. Um, this one it might take two. So if it's at like the measurement it is now, uh, if you only have two bags of calcite, it's not worth opening the half a bag. Uh, if you have a half a bag already, then use it. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, the, these bags of calcite are about 30 bucks a bag. So there's, you know, if you're only going to use half of it, don't open it. Just use the one bag. So each bag in the filter is seven inches. Um, so from you know eighteen inches to twenty-five, that's one one bag. Uh, and then um, you know one one filter. If you have to rebed it, it's going to be three to three and a half bags plus a half a bag of uh, bedding gravel. Um, it's pretty much just, uh, oh, it looks like a little marble, clean rock. Um, it's not, not real big. It's real small stuff. It looks like pebbles. Um, so this is done draining now. So, pull 
the hose out. Uh oh. Okay, I'll stick you guys right there. Hopefully, you guys can see. Stick the funnel in. I have the bungee cords to hold it. I don't want to struggle trying to hold that and lift the, you know, the bag of calcite. When these things are cold, they're 45 pounds. They're not like putting it over your head. And just take your time. You'll have to smack the funnel to get some of the loose stuff out. You know, without this bungee cord on here, that this would be kind of hard to do. Okay. All right, so after you're done doing that, um, you're gonna put the dome hole back in, kind of reverse of what you did to depressurize it. Put the dome hole plug back in. Mm. 
some filters don't have dome holes to, to fill it in. So you got to pull the filter head itself off. Uh, so if yours is one of those, um, what you're going to do is you're going to take your backwash tube off. Uh, after you depressurize and all that, you're going to take that off. Um, you're going to, this is a quarter inch nut. You're going to loosen that until these pop out a little bit. Both sides, there's two of them. Once you get that off, you're going to, you know, you can either loosen them up, pop them out a little bit, or you can take them off all the way. Uh, if, if it's the first time you're doing it, Take them out. Don't drop the stuff because they're kind of hard to find when you drop them on the ground. <clears throat> so once you get those off, you take the pipe right here and wiggle it back and forth and push backwards. Um, like this one's not mounted on the wall. So you can't push very far. It might, you know, you might break the pipe. <clears throat> If it's mounted on the wall and you cannot move it, you're going to take the filter itself and pull. You're going to wrap your arms around it and pull backwards. Um, you know, kind of like this. You know, you're just going to take it it's like this. It'll come off. Uh, if these are sticking on, you're going to take one arm on here and grab this and pull it back. Um, it'll come off. Uh, and then, you know, pull it out where you're going to take a big pair of channel locks put it around this and you're going to loosen it um, and then once you get that off there's going to be another type of a funnel uh, it's a blue one uh, you can use one of these too but it's going to be kind of hard um, but it's doable I've done it but yeah you're just going to do the same thing fill it up uh, once you get it filled, same thing, tighten it back up, put it back on the pipes. Um, and then once you get that on to where it's bolted back up to the pipes and everything, then you continue your steps where I am at now. So what you're going to do is you got this tightened up or you have your head tightened up. You're going to take the bypass valve and you're going to crack it open. Don't full bore it. It can clog the filter. Just like that. So if you're looking at it like that, it's barely moved. So that's off. That's on. And then what you do is you just wait for it to, you know, run clear, crystal clear, run it in a bucket, uh, you know, to where it looks like you're pulling water out of the faucet or something that's clean um, once it's like that and there's no you know particulates or anything in the water no little white flakes uh, you can tell and it's going to be milky at first uh, once you get that um, then you're done um, and then when you're done with that <clears throat> you're you know once it's clear you can open this valve all the way to here you're gonna put it right in the middle of the pipes that's where it sits see this thing is gonna give me some hassle oh yeah so here's the milkiness that I was talking about so it's gonna look like that first coming out that will eventually become clear uh, to where you can put it in a bucket or something you can see through it you can see the bottom uh, once it's like that like I said put that valve all the way over uh, let me let that pump turn off it's pretty noisy um, you're going to you know, push that thing all the way back over you're going to turn that valve the, the dial in the middle you're going to turn it all the way back over to end service um, that's those type of filter heads um, the other ones like I said I'll make a separate video on them because they're, they're a lot more um, 
you're having to do a lot more stuff with them. This one's pretty simple. Um, let me shut this off. Okay. So, like I said, when it's done crystal clear and you're ready to go, take this valve or this dial and you're going to turn it all the way around. To there. It says in service. Once you get there and it's back in service and everything's fine, plug it back in. And then you're going to check the time of day. So, uh, calcite filters are always first in the line. So, if you have a calcite filter and a softener, calcite filter is going to be the right time of day. Uh, say, like right now, here in my, in my town, it is 1130 or 11 o'clock. Uh, so, you're going to set it to 11 a.m. And then softener, uh, if you have one next to it, this one does not. Uh, it's going to be 12. Uh, so it's an hour ahead or an hour behind. Um, I usually put them an hour ahead. That way it can go after this one's done. Uh, that way it doesn't backwash at the same time. Now when these things are backwashing, they're backwashing in the morning. Uh, so at 2 o'clock in the morning. If you're using water at that time, it's going to be dirty. Uh, you're going to have, you know, some nasty water going in the house. Uh, other than that, that's it. These filters are pretty easy to use, um, and they do wonders for the water. Uh, if you have problems with, you know, copper pipes turning green or having blue rings in the house, uh, uh, calcite filter and softener is going to be your friend. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, this is pretty much this setup. This is only for calcite filters. Uh, softeners, you you only have to rebed them when you have, if you notice you're, like you're having scaling and stuff on your, uh, your cups or bowls, crystal clear, you know, stuff that has like a, like a haze on them. Um, yeah, the, those, you'll, you rebed those, oh, I'm going to say every five to six years, depending on how bad the water is. Um, when I do a softener, I will make a video on that. So you guys can see that one's going to be, you know, a filter housing like this, but there's also going to be, uh, a brine tank next to it. That is, it's almost the size of a, like a garbage can outside, you know, like the yard waste, you know, the 50 gallon drum looking ones. Uh, they're not quite as big, but they're about the same in diameter. Uh, other than that that's it um if you guys have any questions or anything about what i just did uh leave a comment in the you know leave a question in the comments and i'll see if i can answer it um other than that have a good day guys